<laughs> Governor Jesse Ventura has advocated for marijuana legalization for decades. Now that it's allowed in his home state, he's going into business in the area he long called home. Are we allowed in? Okay. Governor, where are we right now? This is Retro Bakery, located here in Brooklyn Center on the border of Brooklyn Park. And if people don't know, I was the former mayor of Brooklyn Park many years ago. And this is where cannabis takes place in the state of Minnesota, because cannabis is legal now. Governor Waltz signed it, hand me the pen. They can't get out of it. The genie's out of the bottle now. Those are gummies on the shelf right there. We'll package them up now and they'll go in these little packets. Diversity and equity are an important part of Minnesota's marijuana law, and it's an ethic carried through at Jesse Ventura Farms. We're the most diverse company in Minnesota, probably. Really? Yeah, when it comes to everything. We have people working here who, you know, made some bad decisions in their life and paid for them. We have all colors represented here. Cannabis knows no color. What about women? I hear and see that there are women in leadership positions here too. Absolutely. Why is that important to you? Women, if you want to get political, mm -hmm. women are going to decide the fate of the United States of America in the 2024 election. Now this looks like these rooms seal up the, and they're... Yeah, these, yeah. Are, these are rooms here where they actually will do the creation. Mm -hmm. And so you don't want them contaminated at all. Cannabis use by kids is a concern. The state law specifies it's only for adults over 21. If kids are getting cannabis, blame the adults. It's that simple. This feels like a bakery or a kitchen, it right? It is. Yeah. It, it is a bakery of simply of cannabis. This marks the first time an elected official in the United States has put their name on a marijuana related product. You've made history before, but this move is historic. I think yeah. so in the fact that, you know, let's remember at one time I was a Miller Lite All-Star, so I pushed beer. I prefer cannabis over beer because number one, you can't get sick using it. And number two, there's no hangover. My life was changed because of marijuana cannabis. The first lady of Minnesota was stricken with seizure disorders late in life. Nothing pharma could do to help. We four different seizure medicines, none of them worked. She went on cannabis. She has not had a seizure since. This is personal for you. This, this is issue. very personal for me. And it's also a focus right now for me. I am going to focus on nothing else. Company leaders say, unlike other celebrity endorsements, Ventura has been hands-on tasting and testing products. Have you tried them? Yes. Okay, and what do you think? They're, they taste great. We decided to name the package you yeah. can order on the internet, Lake Street. Because? Because I grew up two blocks from Lake Street. And what would you say the effect is for you? I require cannabis because I, I'm inflicted with some post-traumatic stress and I'm also inflicted with non-specific neuropathy of the feet, which in layman's terms mean your feet are numb and they don't know why. What cannabis does, it dulls that down. It puts it on the back burner to where at night you can shut your eyes do you Same have aches and pains from wrestling that of you course. use it for? Because you well, took some I've had pretty my good hip replaced. Yeah. Cannabis can stop pain. These edibles have been in development for years. Originally, they were looking to open elsewhere, but Minnesota's move to legalize pot has made this venture possible here. Why put your name on it? Uh, why not? This is a company I've chose to do business with. They're a local company. We're of the belief in the cannabis world, we want to keep everything Minnesotan. Grown in Minnesota, processed in Minnesota, promoted by a Minnesotan. The national spotlight still shines on the former pro wrestler turned governor who can't resist dabbling in politics. If you want to get the country back right now, Jesse Ventura should be your president because I know what it's like to have two opposing sides and I know what it's like after three years to force them back together to oppose you. So I could be the savior of the nation right now. But you're not going to run even though you think you I could can't. probably win? I can't. How because. do I get ballot access? The only thing I'd fear, Mary, mm -hmm. if I had ballot access in all 50 states, 
I'd win and then I'd have to do the job. Longtime friend Robert F. Kennedy Jr. publicly considered Ventura for a running mate who would have relished a chance to debate. I think that since Donald Trump has come around, he has changed America to the worse in every aspect. Now we're not even going to have presidential debates. You wouldn't be governor without debates, would you? No. That was really important here. That was the whole thing. There's a lot of pot smokers. And if Joe Biden were to remove completely any federal penalties and get rid of the federal uh, banning of cannabis, I'm sure he could probably stimulate a lot of votes. For now, the former third party governor is content living his dream.